There we go. I'm glad you're here, Jay. Yep, all right, Randy Tripp. And this is his pump. I think it's a horse and a half whisper flow. We'll get an amperage reading on it a little bit, find out how much electricity it's using, and then we'll put in the new pump, see what it's using. Time clock set to run 9 o'clock in the morning until 5 in the afternoon. So that's eight hours a day, which is pretty much well typical. And let's go ahead and get a kilowatt reading on this thing. And we are 2.02. That's two kilowatt hours, 2.02, .02, or 2,002 watts. 2.02, .02, just remember that number. And pressure on the filter. Yeah, we got a nice pressure going here. 15, 16 pounds. We'd like to get rid of some of that friction and back pressure on this thing and see if we can lower that and maybe just up the hours on it. Out with the old. This will be in with a new. Okay, right about there is where it needs to be. Yeah, that's a good looking spot. Wiring. This is an override system that's running a couple of valve actuators for a spa. This V-Green motor, we're going to set it up on a dry contact system, so the contact that we're using for an override isn't going to be switching high voltage anymore. It's just going to be a dry contact relay. Same thing for the time clock. Um, we're going to just go ahead and power up. We'll separate and power up the, uh, the motor wires and then just use a dry contact to run one of the speeds. Okay, so we're running 2,350 RPMs. Yeah, wattage on this we're running from about 551. Okay. So about one fourth, more than one fourth the electricity. We got decent flow. We've got the pressure down on the filter, down to about four to five psi. Less restriction means. Less friction means more efficiency. Okay, for an overview. Old pump, 2,000 watts. The variable speed, this waterway econo flow, it's a 1.65 horsepower. We're pulling right around 500 watts right now. We're gonna change the hours, we're running eight hours a day. We're gonna increase it to nine. Filter pressure went from 15 down to about five. Water flow is really good. It's a good clean filter. Here's our water flow at the 510 watts. We've got pretty good suction. Fairly good spa overflow.